How's it going? So let's go over what is known as the mark of the beast. We didn't really get into that, but it's a very intricate. And I, I would say we did get into it uh, to an extent. We want to we want to key in Revelation 13 and then you want to key in the book of Daniel. Chapter two. And of course, this is all on a series. It's all on a playlist. I'm going to upload this, you know, like I have to all the channels. And uh, but just go to the playlist and it'll be in there. At this particular channel, it'll be playlist. And on this particular channel, it's called End Times Deep Study Series Playlist. There's only two videos on it right now. There is... End Times Comprehensive Study Part 1, The Antichrist Timeline, Deadly Wound of Abomination. One thing I, I really want to detail uh, here. And I should have put Part 2 in there on that title. But anyway, that's okay. And less in a minute, I did. I put Part 2 on it. So Antichrist, Deadly Wound, The Antichrist Timeline. Deadly Wound to Abomination. That's only 18 minutes. So now we're going to do part three. We're going to center on just the Mark of the Beast itself. And somebody very special to me that I'm really big, you know, was the, the muse to actually do this uh, video series. Doesn't like it to be Trump-centered, but sometimes that's just necessary. It's just kind of part of it. And we're going to show you that his name does come to 666. And Donald Trump's original name was once Drumpf. We're going to show you that in 2011, the International Business Times repeated an unverified claim that Trump's parental grandfather changed his name from Trump, from Drumpf to Trump. And was Donald Trump, was Trump's, this is Snopes, was Trump's family surname once Drumpf? His original family name is Drumpf, that's Cora. So if you go to Snopes, it tells you, it says mostly true, what's false, Donald Trump's name was never Donald Trump. And of course, we know that. But the family surname was, the surname of Donald Trump's family was originally Drumpf, D-R-U-M-P-F. And when you go simply to Gematria, and if you key in Don Drumpf, not only do you get 666 and what is known as English Gematria, and that's not English Ordinal, simple Gematria is also called English Ordinal. This is English Gematria which is simple gematria or English ordinal multiplied by six. But the kicker is when you key in 666 or SIX, 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 in the Jewish gematria, you get Donald John Drumpf. So his name was changed to fulfill the other Bible prophecy of being here in his own name where Jesus said, Go ahead and key that in. John 524, King James Version, Bible Gateway. Oh, I think it's Matthew. Maybe it's Matthew. Hang on. It's John 543. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. So um John 5.43, King James Bible. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another, another what? Well, isn't he the Christ? If another Christ, Antichrist, shall come in his own name, him you will receive. And the horn of Daniel 7, which we went over, is the Antichrist, and a trump is a horn, a horn is a trump. So he had to have two different names to fulfill both Bible prophecies, the Trump bloodline, 
and then change to Trump to fulfill the other Bible prophecy. And so let's get into the mark because the, the reason I had to go over Trump is because it says the number, here is wisdom, let him that have understanding. So if we're blessed to have this uh, understanding, thank you, Jesus. Here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. Okay. But you get up here and it says, have power to give life into the image of the beast, the false prophet did, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, and that'll be your AI or, you know, through the technology, that'll be the image. And cause that as many as would not. Now, one thing you have to understand is I did an old series one time in my old Bibles. I mean, on my old original channel. And it was called Telling Truth Archives. And you go down to the playlist. And I did a video titled... AI is the ghost in the machine, mark of the beast. And the third video is called the image that speaks equals the voice. And I put it into YouTube. Search, copied and pasted. And it was the second one down, which kind of surprises me. It's got 301 views produced two years ago. So I took it off the playlist and I'm just showing it to you individually. And so on April 25th, 2020, I got to tell you, it was one of my, one of the most favorite videos that I've ever done. And It just had one comment. It got 12 thumbs up, which is nice. No thumbs down. And I chronicle how when I used to watch The Apprentice, it would always advertise the show that came on next called The Voice. And The Voice is the image that speaks. So he's the Antichrist beast. And the next show was titled The Voice, which is the image that speaks. And that's how they do what they do. NBC's The Voice. There it is. Fascinating. And apparently it's still on. <laughs> wow. Right. And, uh, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So the image of the beast is going to speak, which is the voice, and then cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now this is at that point where those that worship the image are going to be entered. They're going to become possessed. And the fallen angels are going to use the human body as an avatar, a la the movie Avatar, a la the movie Venom, a la the movie The Exorcist. And that's all your superhero predictive programming also. And of course, Trump even showed that he is a superhero. He'll be the original. He will come back as a superhero with eternal life, he'll be claiming, and then that everybody that, and it is eternal life, and that the fallen angels do have eternal life. Humans do not. Only sheep humans do. But goat humans get judgment. But the bodies that are overtaken by the fallen angels, they'll be tormented day and night forever and ever, as it says. 
and which is very confusing to most people. And I'm not about that right now because it'll just take, it'll make this video uh, too long. Donald Trump, superhero. Donald Trump, superhero trading card. We'll click that and you click the images. So he's showing you his trading card where he was this superhero, had a big T on his chest. So it's this is all your predictive programming. They're telling you that it's truth, it's known as truth in plain sight. But only those that have eyes to see and ears to hear can understand this kind of stuff. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark on their right hand or their foreheads. And the foreheads, of course, is the spiritual sealing, just like God seals his on their foreheads. And God sealed his church on their foreheads, Revelation. Revelation 7, 1, 8, 7, 3, to the seal of God on their foreheads, it says. So it's in Revelation 7, if you want to research that. What is the seal of God? Got questions. And that's Revelation uh, 6, 9, 7, 2. So if we go to 6, 9, 7, 2, and 9, 4. Okay. Six nine seven two nine four. Six nine. It's not the actual mark. Seven two, which I think is the actual mark or the ceiling, but maybe not. So then it said nine four, right? I guess it's here then. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass, nor the earth, nor any green thing. This is God's wrath, and neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God on their foreheads. So we will highlight the seal of God on their foreheads. So notice God is sealing his on their foreheads. And, and that no man might buy or sell. Now, the right hand and the forehead, again, is abstract figurative speech. And I will tell you that so is the buying and selling. And God, I'm sure, did this just to throw people off, to make them be able to create all these fake movies, like you have a choice. And there'll be this time where people have a decision to make. Folks, if that was going on, then Jesus would not have said what? Jesus told them. To run head for Z hills immediately. When you see, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, and that we went really went over in part one, and I, maybe in part two, standing in the holy place, because to the Jew, that third temple will be a holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand them which be in Judea, and and then it says them let them which be in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Woe to them giving childbirth. Pray that it doesn't take place during the winter. For then, after the abomination of desolation shall be great tribulation. And then he speaks about having to make those days short. There's no decision. If there was like all this decision where people had to figure out if they're going to take the mark or not, 
Jesus wouldn't have been so explicit about the situation. And when we go into Daniel 2, 41 through 43, I don't know why. I guess I pressed the wrong button, got into the NLT. Whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, the final kingdom, part of potter's clay, humans. We went over that in previous uh, parts, part one or part two, and part of iron, which is the technology. So the clay is human. The iron is the technology and the ghost is in the machine, which is what you're technology is for you know the towers that are in every neighborhood and around every corner the kingdom shall be divided yeah sheep and goats uh there shall be part in it of the strength of iron the fallen angels and the technology which will become the humans when they are their bodies being used as an avatar to kill sheep or as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with the miry clay and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay. So again, the fusion. This final kingdom of the Antichrist beast system that has been around forever, that has always had various, you know, seven different front men. And the final front man, of course, is the Antichrist leading this final kingdom. So the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Well, it's partly strong. And that the fallen angels will thrive and they will be the strength. Partly broken is that the humans will begin to die off in, as the fallen angels have a hold of their body. And it says, whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with the miry clay. So this is, this is what they called in the movie Venom. They were called a symbiote when the entity entered inside the human body. And... The entity had complete control of the body. It says they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. That's because they're taking over the human body. But they shall not cleave to one another. That's because just like the movie Venom and The Exorcist, the human host was dying off. Meg Reagan was about to die in the movie The Exorcist. And in the movie Venom, they all died. Except Venom kept his alive, which, of course, is kind of like a, a Trump parallel, that he'll be kept alive. But I think it's pretty much Satan overtaking that body. But they shall not cleave to one another, even as so that's the dying off process. So that is the actual mark of the beast. Save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for his number. It's the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. So that's pretty much it. And I uh, hope you got a lot out of that. Any questions, just ask. Love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.